Hi. <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody who was able to come in today. You know, it means a lot to me. You know, we've got this wonderful family here. You know, I'm here in the front row and mixed in with all my friends. And then one whole group of friends over here, and a couple more in the back over here over at Duval, and a couple more that I've been through with my parents, and then you know, this, you know, all miscellaneous and things. So then, you know, it's, it's, it's been wonderful. It's been great. You know, I didn't expect really any of this. You know, mm. the, 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 it's been lovely. And then you guys being here, thank you very much. You sound great. You sound wonderful. Um, you know, um, some friends of mine who you know wanted to be here but can't be. Um, you know, some things came up and then you know they just can't. But uh, you know, I'll squeeze the time to try and see them still. But um, you know, no worries there. You know, no hard feelings. But uh, <laughs> so yes, um, countdown. I guess in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, and starting in a new chapter. Uh, um, you know. For me, military was, uh, it was always kind of lingering. It was always a little bit there, um, but just in kind of different variation of levels and kind of reason why, reasons why I wanted to do it. Uh, but initially, I just, um, you know, Blue Angels, you know, I saw that when I was a kid and I was like, that is amazing. You know, that is something incredible, not something that really anybody, you know, get a chance to do, um, you know, in their lives. And I wanted a chance to do something incredible. And, uh, but um, at the time, my understanding was little, and I thought I had to go to the academy to be an Air Force pilot. So, but uh, in junior high and high school, my grades weren't that exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, it was kind of a, 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 a mentality of just trying to get by, unfortunately. <laughs> and I kind of wish when I, I could go back and, and fix it. But you know, it, was, it was a little late for that, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> and. Uh, so the academy kind of went down for me, but then the next thing I was looking into just some um, professional athleticism. Um, I loved playing football. Um, I was a wrestler, and then uh, you know, upcoming in senior year, uh, I dislocated my shoulder, and it ruined my entire senior year for any physical um, activity. So that kind of went down the drain for me, unfortunately. Uh, but um, try to keep my mind open and figure out what I would enjoy. Um, I was a huge fan of comic books, and uh, I love the superhero aspect. You know, I can name it Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, all of it. Just love it. Um, so I was thinking like, maybe I could be a you know a hero in some fashion. Um, and uh, firefighting was another thing that kind of came up to my mind, um, which was great. Um, I had a culminating, pro culminating project in high school, and uh, I just did a job shadow for firefighting. And uh, got a taste of how it was. Got to go on the, the station and meet all the firefighters. Got to ride on the on the um, on the rigs and uh, you know practice with the hoses. And um, did it get a, a chance to do any real real live um, situations? Could have, but um, I just didn't take the opportunity. I think part, partially it was just oh, mom's doing a sim step. I have very long hair. What <laughs> 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 I was stubborn. Uh, it, it was that was me. This is my fuzz. It's who I am, and uh, I never—I don't think I ever want to change it ever. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's gonna get very much shorter. Yes. Yeah, actually, there won't be any short. It'll be gone. Yeah. But uh, um, you know. That wasn't really it, but uh, I just didn't take advantage of my whole experience as being in the in the um, uh, uh, fire explorer. Um, but uh, I think after the culminating project was over, I think part of it was I feel like I kind of continued it because I felt like it was just a necessity for the school. Maybe it wasn't something that I was really driven for, um, something for me to do. Uh, <clears throat> but then, um, actually, it wasn't. Until after I heard that, um, you know, my cousin Andre, it was it was um, possible that he might have been going into the Navy, and then so I kind of brought my interest back into it again. And I started thinking about all the possibilities, and then you know the possibility of flying, and then uh, it just excited me. And I was thinking, you know, I would just would love that opportunity. And uh, so I looked into it, looked into the Navy. I knew that Blue Angels were all, were part of the Navy as it was, so I thought hey, maybe I could be one of them, uh, one of these things. Uh, so I went to start a recruiter for the Navy office, but um, it had become apparent to me that uh, it was possibly an issue that I might be partially colorblind. And 
I didn't want to believe it because it, it was an army recruiter who told me that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I needed a second opinion. And, um, so I went to the Navy office, did the test one more time, but they told me the same thing that I'd be, you know, colorblind. And in order to fly, you have to be, you know, uh, normal color vision. And, uh, you know, I'm still going to try to be a pain in the butt to them and do what I can to be a pilot. But, uh, you know, I haven't lost all hope yet. But we'll see. But, um, um, but as I was leaving the Navy office, I was discouraged. But um, on the way out, I saw the posters of the Marines. You know, some of the, you know, you see some of these guys doing their martial arts training, and uh, and they're you know special forces, you know, camo and you know looking all stealth and sorry, VA. You know. <laughs> that looked exciting to me, and uh, just you know, you know, just something really awesome. Um, and I you know had heard that you know Marines were incredible, you know, and outstanding people. And I'm not saying that the other, you know, service members are, but bloody Paul. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I think it was um, the branch that I would feel like um, it was the most, for me, I'd get the most out of it. Um, personal growth, a sense of pride, um, a sense of self-worth. Uh, I mean, all the benefits that come with it are great, but I think uh, mm -hmm. just, you know, better understanding myself and having a stronger play, a stronger ground, a uh, better base for myself. Because in high school, maybe not all of you know, but my, you know, confidence was right, was right here. And, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, but through kind of getting a chance to work, it's been being able to open up, working at John Reduce, working at Macy's, and, uh, you know, being able to talk to people and kind of grow within myself. But then this will kind of be just, uh, what will set me over the edge, I feel like. And, um, wow. and I feel like it'll, it'll, just, it'll be all for the best. Um, uh, but um, as far as what I'm getting into, uh, I wanted, like I said, to be a pilot, but also to go into reconnaissance. Mm -hmm. And if a lot of you don't know what recon reconnaissance is, it's, it's um, the really hardcore stealth behind the scenes, you know, it's the... Um, um, you know, trying to be undetected, going behind enemy lines, and uh, you know, doing the extreme stuff, jumping out of airplanes and parachuting and uh, scuba diving in cold water. And I hate cold water, a lot, you know. <laughs> and uh, but it would, you know, you know, it would push my limits, and I want to be pushed. I want my butt to be kicked. And, uh, uh, but um, I mean, at this point, I can't do that because of they say in my eyes. Um, which upsets me because I don't like being told what I can't do, mm -hmm. especially when I feel like it's something that doesn't matter, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, it's like I can look at everything and I think I see colors. You know? And it was an issue, not until I took that test, and they were like, you can't see. And I'm like, oh, shit, I can't see. <laughs> Of course, I didn't say that. I didn't want to. <laughs> but I was definitely thinking of it. And, uh, but um, right now, I'll be uh, under contract for supply and accounting. Um, and uh, so I still need to do a little bit more research about what it is because this was just until yesterday that they said that's what I was going <laughs> to. They, um, they wanted to kind of help me, uh, the rec recruiters, because uh, I had to postpone my um, my ship date due to mili uh, I'm sorry, uh, medical. Uh, record issues. Um, I needed to, because I thought it would be good to be honest to them, to let them know that I went to the hospital six months ago. A lot of people don't tell them anything. They say, oh, I never did any drugs. I never went to the hospital ever. And, uh, you know, I thought it might be a good impression to, you know, to tell them, you know, the truth. But, uh, you know, of course you try, and then they say, okay, I need all your medical records. And uh, I need a doctor's note. I need a better doctor's note. And I need you to come in. And we need to look at it look at it for five seconds and then you're okay. Hmm. Then my angle, yes. <laughs> to specify if any, you know, any imaginations were going on. But, uh, <laughs> yes. but um, I mean, it's okay. It turned out really good. You know, I'll be here for Thanksgiving. And then I'll, <laughs> and then I'll be back for my birthday, uh, my 21st birthday. So I'll be something. It'll be better than having it over there. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
But uh, yes. So so the kind of research of what I'm getting into, uh, they are offering me um, uh, um, kind of like an extra college fund too. Um, they call it a little kicker. Um, so no, that's nice too. But um, again, I just got to kind of look into further what that is. This more research, still understanding about how everything goes. Mm -hmm. um, but really, just right now, I um, feel like I'm ready to go. Still gonna, this next few years are gonna be kind of hard physically for me because I'm gonna try and keep up, you know, uh, to get ready. Um, but um, I'm excited. Uh, more than anything else, nervous. It'll be something awesome. You know, it'll be cool. And uh, um, you know, I, I hear all these stories that Court gets to tell me about his friends in the Marines. There he's way over there, <laughs> having an excellent time, and I look forward to it. And, uh, want to travel, meet new people, thank you.